Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. Well, his work hangs in the home of basketball legend Michael Jordan. He's been commissioned to create illustrations for the United Nations, and he's only 25 years old. Please show a very warm welcome for Kiwi artist Jeremy Kyle. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Yes. Can I just start by saying, this is the reason I love this show, because as soon as I was introduced to your work, I fell in love with it. I think you're exceptional. I'm so excited to have you here with us. So thanks for being on the cafe. Oh, thanks yeah. for having me. An absolute pleasure, especially having you do some work while you're here. Tell us, though, so let's start with your Michael Jordan story. Um, so it all really begins by, uh, by me working with the Chicago Bulls, which happened uh, at the start of this year. So they commissioned me to work on a global campaign for them. Uh, which was to celebrate their 50th anniversary, which went out to roughly between 20 to 30 million people. Um, and yeah, I created a piece of Michael Jordan through to where they are today with their current players. And, um, and yeah, he was one of the recipients that received one of the artworks of this. And um, he sent me a letter uh, just thanking me for the work and wow. encouraging my creative yes. abilities. Uh, Paul Gasol, who's, a, who's an all-star for the team, where he was, um, he also showcased his work across his media pages and, uh, you know, publicly thanked me as well. So that was really exciting. That's incredible. But how does, like, a Kiwi dude like yourself, how do you, how do you get involved with the Chicago Bulls? Uh, most of it's really just the power of the internet and marketing yourself, you know, um, setting up a clean gallery display and showing uh, your, your, your abilities to, to, uh, to showcase what it's like yeah. uh, to show art and sport. Um, and so I'm a specialist in visual communication and yeah, they latched on to me because of what I offer. And have you always been naturally gifted as an artist or is it something you've had to really hone your skills on? I had a natural inclination towards being creative, right? Um, but it, it was really just over time that I sort of developed in this creative you know, niche, yeah, it's, it's, it was really experimentation. So you're trained as a graphic artist, but self-taught as an artist? Yeah, that's correct. So I have a qualification in design, uh, so I understand what makes a, an image really, really strong, and then I apply that to the way that I create my art. Now very soon we're going to see some of your images and I suspect a lot of people have probably seen your work but not identified your face with them. So this is a good introduction for everybody. First I wanted to talk about United Nations. They commissioned you to do some artwork. What happened there? How was that experience? So that was a really exciting project for me and very rewarding. Uh, so that was created for the World Humanitarian Summit which took place in May this year. Um, and I was creating or visually articulating the agenda for humanity which is being put forth by Ban Ki Moon. Uh, and yeah, I got to create uh, a series of artworks that, which explain that agenda through art. So as much as my art's about the visuals, it also has the conceptual side to that too. So uh, my ideas run through with that as well. Wow. And tell me about your involvement with Live Below the Line. Um, so I've been working with Tear Fund on a campaign for Live Below the Line. Um, I created an artwork uh, called Fullness of Life. Um, and it embodies uh, life, happiness, uh, the sorts of things that, that uh, Tear Fund and this person Nisha is looking to bring to the people who have been caught in human trafficking in Southeast Asia. Gosh, you've got a bit on. You've got a bit on your, on your plate, haven't you? Yes, I do. And, and look, we were just seeing some images here. Beautiful. Um, and clearly you have a passion for social justice as well. Is that something you have deliberately done through your artwork? Um, uh, yes, I, 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 ha I like to sh try and use my abilities and, and my time as well uh, on, on campaigns or, or work that really matter. Um, so working for you know large large clientele and that is really exciting. But things that really change people's minds about important issues that's that's something that really strikes mm. a chord with me. Now you've had your artwork on CNN, uh, two packs of state used it, uh, many Pacquiao's tweeted it. So you've obviously been global. What's next for you? Um, so I'll be doing a, uh, an exhibition in Chicago later this year uh, when the All Blacks will be playing in Chicago. Um, the the exhibition is called Legends Live Forever, which showcases uh, All Blacks inspired artworks as well as Chicago Bulls inspired artworks. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Well, I love your birds too. Oh, One of those the things. birds are magnificent. Yeah. I oh, love the birds. We are so lucky to have you. Thank yeah. you very much for being here. And he's going to finish off the picture that he started earlier. We're going to auction that off. Money's going towards Tear Fund's anti-trafficking work in Southeast Asia. Uh, so thank you very much for being here. Round of applause, yeah. Jeremy. Yeah.